when we talk about sexual harassment, first it has to do with unwanted sexual behavior against women. And then if you're asking uh, where that happens, it happens almost everywhere and anywhere. It happens at work, it happens in school, it happens in even in churches, mosques, wherever, anywhere really you find people that can actually happen. And that's because sexual harassment is about individuals. It's about the people involved and wherever you have perverts, it will definitely happen irrespective of where it is and then if we're going to be curbing this we need to um as women we need to understand that we are victims because there's times that sexual harassment happens and the woman is she feels shy she's afraid she's ashamed to talk and when you are afraid or ashamed to talk that's perpetration so you're empowering you know the person who is doing this to you that's why it's important that we speak up and then for schools i feel that schools should actually have a structure where issues like this can be addressed for example if your lecturer is sexually harassing you there should be a structure within the school maybe um the part advisor or somehow within the school or even the dean of student affairs where you can actually go talk about these things and have them ironed out but the fear of you know being uh, maybe witch haunted at the end of the day the fear of your marks being affected that's when it's coming from a lecturer and there are times it's even coming from a colleague so whatever it is we need to learn to speak up whether it's a colleague whether it's um, a senior, someone who has some form or some level of authority above you as a woman, you need to learn to speak up. You need to learn to tell the person that you do not want it. I know sometimes it comes with threats. And when that happens, you should sh there should be a way, really. And I want to believe that, you know, there are um, some organizations, some agencies that are working hard to ensure that these things are nipped on the board. So these are some of the persons or some of the agencies. You could just go visit them and, you know, talk to them and they're going to really help you get out of this really the more we keep quiet the more we perpetrate these things the more we empower the people who are sexually harassing us and i think when it comes to the workplace that's another one and like i said there is always that uh, relationship of someone who is above someone who's got authority someone who's got some level of power you know above you as a woman uh, and so when it happens at work I, I i hope that workplaces will also start having structures such as this so they can address these issues and um, you're working with someone who is a sexual pervert who is sexually harassing you so workplaces should find a way of addressing these things even no matter how good or amazing these guys are the moment there are reports against them and these reports have been confirmed we need to show them the way out because that's the only way to solve it because if you do not do that they're still going to keep up doing this keep on doing this and people want to keep their jobs so i mean we need to walk the talk